So here's the walking tour. This is uh, Macaws and Casa de Leyendas. It is uh, literally 100 feet from Azul Cielo de Zartes Raposa. Here is the uh, uh, bar and coffee shop. Uh, Lori Davidson plays here on weekends or on Fridays. Here's the, uh, this is the breakfast room, is it? Well, this is the dining room. Dining room? Uh, and it's certainly be used for our guests or also is used for macaws and the overflow. Uh -huh. And then also the patio. This is Glenn, our host, that's talking. Bienvenidos. This is the patio. This is the patio. Swimming pool that did that. We reserved the patio for our guests up until 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh huh. And then uh, so they can have breakfast and then be out here by themselves. Or they can go up and get off the terrazzos, which we'll see when we go up. Okay. Or in their room if they like. Okay, sounds excellent. Yeah. We're right behind you. Now this area, the pictures will be up by the time they, they get here. This, this will all be, this is a little gallery in itself. So, right. uh, Bodie uh, Kellogg is going to be here having his, his artwork up. These are the Katrinas. Uh, these are some of Sharon's things. This is not the gallery, but this is actually a shop that we're selling them. Uh -huh. uh, Did Sharon make these? And this, no, we, uh, these come out of Coppola, which is down out of uh, uh, Hotsporto, south of Guadalajara, Morelia area. So these are all, and they're all different artists. You'll see others that are walking through it. And of course, we're not open yet in the store, so it's still a little disarray. This is another area. This is a different artist. This is Tikio. Tikio yeah. is the same one who did the mural up front. Very he nice. also teaches art. So he, and this is new for him. He's, he's, uh, he's just setting up. And this is Sharon. I just got back to my inventory stole. Yeah. So oh, this is, you can see there's a whole lot more of the Katrinas. A lot of the folklore yeah. and art. Uh, this is the Ortega family on this side. Uh, you've got Oaxacan art, uh, everything from the tapestries to the wood art, and it, it's uh, it's really it's really interesting to watch them. They, the wood art, they just take a little chunk of wood and, and they make these things. It's amazing. Wow. The same with the trees. They're all, same they're with the all made, They're all handmade. With clay, my yarn, and they're all painted. There's nothing in a mold. The, the, these it. are not molds. These are handmade with <coughs> clay. Cool. Okay. This one, this one we're gonna put over here. And then this this came out of uh, these came from Costco, which is south in the Oaxaca, you know, south of that area, mm -hmm. and uh, a different a different art, different Mexican art. We have I think one of his pieces in Canada. Oh, good. Yeah. This is going to be this is going to be Tikio's area. Oh, very so, nice. So we'll have a kind of a little show area for him, as well as that area, and then uh, Bodia will have the front. Yeah, these are all some of the smaller pieces. And he's got, he's, he's, he's got to come in and, and uh, kind of arrange them the way he wants them. And this, is, uh, this, is, this area is also where our guests can come and, and uh, eat at the like, Especially in, in bad weather, if it's rainy or whatever, they'll, they'll eat in here over the big table. Okay. Uh, we call this Sharon's Kitchen. This is where she's on the left. The oh. kitchen is on the right. Okay. So we have, like, we have like two kitchens going on. So for the gourmet group, Gourmet group, yeah. yeah. The gourmands in there? Gourmands, yeah, it's interesting because that stove I brought in from the States, that's one with the induction burners. Oh, yeah. In the convection oven. Wow, that's amazing. And it's really great for keeping sauces and things warm without burning. It's really nice. And, and it boils water like, like 90 seconds water is boiling. It's really quick. And this is the gas size. So this is, you know, so... Hola. Hola. <laughs> That is a, uh, no, this is not a, this is not a juicer, this is a, um, yeah. Right. Now the first floor, as you can tell, is a common area, open to the public. So you've got, uh, we reserve the patio and we don't let people coming in until uh, after 10. So our guests have it up until 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a bed and breakfast, so you get and your breakfast. A total of, you have a total of how many rooms? Six rooms total, all upstairs. Okay. And there's a whole other kitchen and a cooking area. You'll see it upstairs for our guests to use. Oh. So they can practice making their mole. Absolutely. You've already seen the macaws. Yeah. Up front. 
So McCall's Restaurant opens at 8.30. Our staff is here at 7, so if we, if we get people that uh, want to eat earlier, then we can do that. Okay. And you would have connections for all the events, like uh, going golfing and... Absolutely, yeah. We, we have the coast here as well. We'll set whatever they like to do, fishing, golfing, okay. whatever. Uh, this is the front terrazzo. This one, uh, the house has a kind of a dual personality. This side, you're overlooking the art museum. And and actually right now with the trees all grown up and untrimmed, uh, you, you can see the... The little park area, which is in front of the art museum. Yeah, and right behind that building is Azur Ciel de, de Artes Raposa. See. <laughs> <laughs> so this side catches the morning sun, uh -huh. and it, it's in the shade in the afternoon. This is where we did the yoga. This is where you do the yoga, and it's still uh, actually the yoga is going to take place again. I understand. So we've got that on Tuesdays and Fridays, Tuesdays except and Fridays. Art Walk Day, which moves to I think Thursday. They're going to do it. Let's go this way because I'll, I'll number the rooms. Okay. This is a little display area. This is the this is the family. This is the doctor and his family. This is whose house it was. Okay, back in the day, huh? Yeah, back in the day. This area is a is a is for our guests. It's a common area. We have. There's a desktop here. We also have wireless, so people bringing their laptops or whatever can connect iPhones, whatever. Okay. This TV, this TV is Canadian. It's it's a Shaw. Shaw, okay. Okay, and we have Mega Cobbly, which is the local uh, cable company that's uh, that's in the bedrooms. Okay, and here's the map. There's the yeah, that's the map of the area. El Centro. And this is Alicia, who does Hola. A, she's a, does a fabulous job on, on taking care of our guests in the rooms. This We call this the Balcón Sisto Osuna. This overlooks the street, the Calle Sisto Osuna. You can see the ocean is where the back of our property is 200 feet from the ocean. The bank is on the corner, Puerto Viejo is on the left, the bank is on the right. We have a little tienda across the street. Joaquin's, uh, uh, That's Joaquin's Mario. wife that opened that tienda? It is. Yeah, good. Yep. And of course, the, uh, we have the, the English library is right there. Tippy Toes in Marrakesh, which is a spa uh, for nails and massages and things like that. This room, this is the Diego room, room one. And you can see the appointments. This has a king size bed. Okay. They all have air conditioning. They all have ceiling fans. Uh, the alarm clocks are also white noise. You can put on the rain or waterfall or whatever you like. They all have refrigerators. The water throughout the house is pure, purified, so it's safe to drink, and it's pressurized. Perfecto. Each room has a coffee pot. If you'd like to have coffee in your room, you can. Or tea, or whatever you like. And bar fridge, microwave. Bar fridge, yep. Uh, only two rooms have the microwave. We had the, and those were set up for the extended stay people. When people are here for 30 days and longer, that gives them a little microwave. They can warm things up. Yeah. Uh, this room is the same thing, only different. <laughs> so you've got a queen size bed. The, kit, the, the bathroom arrangement is uh, the same. Then you see they have, they have hair dryers and all that. Then you have the conveniences that we're used to back in the, back home in the States or Canada, uh, but you kind of get the Mexican feel. Why did you pick this here? That was with the house. We were able to give it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you opened that up. Thank you. You can also see that we have uh, in-room safe, so you yeah. can lock your valuables. And TV. The TVs. And this is the... Uh, Actually, I said that was Diego. This is the Diego room. The other one is the Frida room. So we have Frida, Diego. Okay. And we'll walk in. This, this is a larger room. This is a. This is the Carnival room. 
Part of our room, king size bed, sofa, opens into the courtyard. Also has double sinks in the bathroom. More living space. Mm -hmm. You do Vanna really well. <laughs> <laughs> Very nicely done. Yeah, thank you. It's, well, it's meant to give you the feel of Mexico. You know, it's a hacienda. You get a good view of the pool from up here. Mm -hmm. The tree is a lychee tree. Oh, the lychee nuts. Yeah, lychee. Yeah, we had uh, it really produced a lot this year. They produce every other year in abundance. Yeah, and then the building next door is the one to the left is was the. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a house, and then you've got the, the big building next door to that is a 10,000 square foot house. The one next door is about uh, 1,600, 1,800 square feet. And that's the Posada Freeman? That's the Posada Freeman. Best Western? Yep. Okay. So this is the Carnival Room, Room 3, and then we'll go up to Room 4. Room 4 is the Peralta Room. That moves us to the, the, starting to move to the ocean side of the house. This is our largest room. It's a mini suite, king size bed. Uh, the wooden beds were all made here in Mexico. Uh, Alec Concordia, uh, Macias is the actual. Concordia, eh? Yeah, we got them up in Macias, which is uh, about five, five kilometers outside of uh, Concordia. The masks are made here. This this is a, this is a leather art as well as what's in the in the little niche. Uh, the owners of Need Art over by the. Uh, I've been there. Yes. Yeah, they're the ones who do this. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. yeah we got some that green one right there. We've got in the middle. Yeah, they're there. It's beautiful stuff. Yeah. Watch your step here. That's a little step up, but this is a whole sitting area. Uh, has a desk for the computer, TVs on the on the far wall, and you can see the ocean. This one has a, a view of the ocean from the bed. Yeah, this is the little mini suite. So it, it has a, a little different different flair. Now this is a this is the dressing area, double sinks, they're larger. Uh, and you can see it takes on the, the Peralta, it's, it's after Angela Peralta. Right, the theater. So it's the theatrical theme, that's why the mask, that's why the Romeo and Juliet. That's a party shower. Party shower, absolutely. Fiesta! <laughs> well, the skylight in the... Oh, yeah. And then across the hall is our smallest room. That's the Infante room, room number five. It has all the amenities of the other rooms. Refrigerator, coffee pot, the, the alarm clock, the fans, the air conditioning. It's a queen-size bed. It has television. Bathroom's a little smaller. This one opens into the uh, into the courtyard. Has a great view. You you feel like you're in the in the forest with the tree right here. Yeah, that's very nice. Is that indigenous to uh, that kind of tree? Is that indigenous to Mazatlan? It's, no, it's uh, actually it's an Oriental. Yeah. Tree and it was a, we understand it was a gift from someone, I don't know who it was, to the doctor. Huh. And it was a small tree, and of course over the years it's grown. Yeah. Now outside this area at night we closed down. So to kind of give you an idea, we shut this down. When I, at night I kind of closed the building up. And the room out back is the Hardeen room that you were mentioning. Ah, okay. This is where the Hardeen is. Now what's unique about this room 
is you feel like you're secluded as, I, as the doors are there and you shut these doors, you really feel like you're out here by yourself. Mm -hmm. As soon as you open them up, from secluded to included, <laughs> you know, you just become a part of everything. Yeah, very nice. And the, this one has double doors on the bathroom. These are the original doors. This bathroom used to be a patio. We enclosed it. Uh, and the shower was a stairwell that went down to the mage quarters at one time. How long did, it, did the renovation stay here? Uh, it was over a year. We had 14 months in order to get open. We had another uh, four to six months in the next year of completing the renovations. Mm -hmm. And the start and date was when? Every year is more. Yeah. Every year is more. It's just, you know, it's either, either fixing it or changing it. Yeah. Excellent. Artists. Dancers, uh, all of them. You're going to see when we go upstairs, there's a whole other terrazzo that overlooks the ocean. We have a, a separate kitchen for, for our guests to use. We'll take you up. This is the upstairs terrazzo. This is the upstairs terrazzo, and you can get a different personality. Now you're on the, now you're where the activity is. You're overlooking the ocean. You've got, you've got a street. You've got Puerto Viejo next door. Which is and, and live music. And karaoke. And karaoke. Oh yeah. We are. Yeah, we had. To, we pulled out some. We were storing some things in this refrigerator. Uh, it has separate. All of these are keyed differently, so each room can have its own area. So if they want to put their supplies in they and can. lock it up, they can. So people oh, don't very get cool. Into them. Yeah. So that that's the design of, and the purpose of this. It's got, uh, you know, small little ovens, the, the portable t uh, countertops, yeah. microwave, mm -hmm. uh, four burner stove. Yeah, sink, and then, uh, of course, the, uh, the bar out here. In the bar area, it's great for entertaining. Uh, we, we've, had, uh, we've had as many as 40 people, actually over 40 people, in front of a fireworks. And we, uh, we serve hors d'oeuvres and 